James for miles play with Skylar Wallace. Um, just overall, how did the race go uh, for you for Footlock Nationals? Yeah, it was um, it was definitely a tough race. Um, the course is really um, hard. I luckily I have some experience with it um, since our CIF is here, but it was a good race. It went out really fast, but I. Um, just stayed relaxed through the first half and then tried to push it the second half. But going up that hill with about 800 left definitely got hard. And how did you feel overall during the race? Yeah, I felt pretty good. It's um, It was hard to keep a peak um, from last week, but I felt like um, I'm, I'm happy with my race. I mean, can't be too upset with 26 at Foot Locker, so. And did you uh, kind of expect um, like the time and the way that you performed today? Um, no, I, I didn't really know what to expect. Um, just that course, you know, you never know what you're going to get. You never know if it's going to be a fast day or a slow day. So I'm happy with my time. Um, I feel like on that course, it's a pretty strong time. So it's good. So you didn't have any like uh, time goals going to the race? Or do you have any like placement time that you want to or place um, you want to get? Yeah, not as, yeah, I didn't have any time goals, but um, place goals. Um, I wanted to be top in the West, but Anna Martin from Utah had an amazing race, so I was just behind her, um, but it was a great race nonetheless. So. And what were some things that you learned from your race? Um, I guess I learned, um, <laughs> I guess I learned to, like, you know, know that when there's a hill with uh, still about 800 left, you know, still, you have to save a little bit more than usual to make it up that hill. Um, strong so uh going into other races especially in college um i feel like knowing that it'll help me and were you satisfied the way that you performed today yeah i mean just being here is an honor and it's amazing so i'm so proud of myself just for making it here and uh running well today was just kind of icing on the cake so and uh what are some of your thoughts and reflection just you know finishing your last uh, cross country race yeah high school it's, it's kind of a bittersweet moment you know High school cross country has been, I like don't even have words to express how much fun I've had um, throughout my four years, but to end it in this way is better than anything I could have ever imagined. Nice. And what are some of the biggest things that, uh, that you know, cross country has taught you? Yeah, cross country has, it's taught me that, you know, I, I'm capable of so much more than I, than I would have ever thought. Um, it's brought me close to some of the best people that I've ever met. Um, I've met some of my best friends through this sport. I've gotten um, closer with, with my family and, you know, there's nothing that I feel like cross country hasn't taught me. And what are some biggest things that you, uh, that you like about cross country? Uh, I love that it's kind of, you know, it's everything. It's not, it's not like other sports where, um, you know, some people may think you're good, some people may think you're bad, you know, people see the times and they know if you're good or bad. So it's a very black and white type of sport and I guess that's kind of the beauty of it. And what are some of your uh, thoughts and reflections on just like all the accomplishments and all the times that you ran uh, throughout high school and, and just closing off here at Full Locker? Yeah, I'm proud of everything I've done in high school. I feel like I've really grown as a runner and as a person um, and I feel like it's really reflected in the times that I've run and um, knowing that my hard work has paid off is the best feeling. Nice. And uh, how did you get into running? Um, actually my mom ran throughout high school and in college nice. um, so it was always a part of my life so you know joining cross country in high school was kind of like you know, I, I always knew I was going to do it. I never knew I would love it as much as I have. Um, but so I was really introduced to the running world through my through my parents. Nice. And uh, what will we consider the highlight of this uh, trip and so far uh, and like your favorite part? Um, you know, I guess it's hard to say since I know we're going to do we're going to have um, some fun tonight. But uh, definitely after the race, you know, having the huge support system that I had out there today, um, since this is my hometown, was absolutely amazing. You know, being introduced and running out with such a loud cheer is a memory that I'll never forget. Nice. Yeah, and you're from San Diego. Like, how is it running the course um, out here at Foot Locker National? It was, it was amazing. Um, the course was a little bit different, um, but just having experience from running it before, I felt like gave me a little bit of an edge knowing what I was getting and what I was, you know, basically getting myself into and having everyone on the course know my name um, or, you know, at least know that I'm from San Diego cheering me on. Um, it was, it was incredible. Nice. And as a senior, what kind of legacy do you want to leave behind for cross country and as a runner? Uh, I guess 
you know, my team, they were only, our school's only seven years old, but we've come so far um, in the short seven years. And, you know, I just want to leave everyone with, you know, the, I guess, the knowledge that, you know, it can only go up from here and uh, hard work does pay off. Nice. And, um, you know, what made you decide to commit to um, NAU, you know, going on to college? Yeah, I just, I went on my official visit there um, in October and it was like nothing I've ever experienced. I mean, the running culture there is incredible. Um, the coaches, you know, they, they really care about me as a person and as a runner and the, um, the runners, the, my teammates, they're so supportive, you know, even through this, they've been so supportive and, you know, that's, that's the kind of um, team that I want to be a part of. And what were some of the other colleges that you were interested in? Yeah, I, um, I had official visits to UCLA, NAU, University of Oregon, and um, Cal Poly Slow, but I only went on two, um, just oh, okay. UCLA and NAU. I uh, canceled the others because I loved NAU so much. Nice. And uh, what are some things that you like to do in your free time? What are some of your hobbies besides running? Yeah, I love, um, I love hiking. Hiking is nice. incredible. I mean, it's just fun. Um, and, you know, it's, it's fun to get to walk sometimes and not run. Um, I, this sounds kind of nerdy, but I love reading. <laughs> and my favorite book, I love Run to Overcome by Meb Kuflowski. Nice. And, uh, you know, you have a YouTube channel and you do it with your <laughs> sister. Uh, what made you want to start, you know, a YouTube channel? Yeah, we kind of just woke up one morning and we were going um, on our first run coming back from track season and we were like, you know, like why not, <laughs> why not um, take a video and start a YouTube channel. Um, it hasn't really, you know, worked out, I guess. We haven't um, really per made a video in a while, but you know, I've heard a couple people tell me that we should make another video, so another video may be coming out soon. Nice. How about for college? You planning to make some uh, videos in college? I don't know. That's that's a good question. We'll have to see. And uh, what are some of the artists and uh, songs that you like to listen to? Um, I really I listen to a variety of music. Like I love the Frozen Two soundtrack. Is my sister and I love it right now. Um, but uh, the group that I really like, I really like Green Day. They have some solid songs. Um, so I'd say they're probably my favorite band. What's your favorite songs from them? Um. Oh gosh, uh, oh Good Riddance, my favorite song. Right. And uh, what are some of your favorite uh, movies and TV shows? Um, my favorite movie is probably, this sounds this sounds kind of funny, but my favorite movie is probably Zootopia. And that's, <laughs> it was, a, that's a good film. Yeah, it's sure. so good. I love that movie. Um, and then favorite TV show is Stranger Things. Nice. And uh, what's your uh, favorite food? Oh, chocolate. Everything chocolate. I love chocolate. Nice. Well, congratulations and thank you for your time. Thank you so much.